Hello everybody. This is Michelle Litwiller. It is Wednesday, November 15th, 2018. And it is Thursday at 4 o'clock. And I am here to do um, my weekly Facebook Live. Now, I know I did one Monday as a special. And uh, last night I had a class and I knew it was going to go a little bit longer. So I decided to postpone this live until today. So... If anyone is out there, you can uh, say hi and or give me a heart or some, something so I know you're there. And um, uh, I have some awesome projects to show you today. So I have my on-stage swap card. I'm going to make you um, a variation of it. I have a few other of my favorite swap cards to show you that I got from on-stage. That's where I was last week. And then I want to show you the um the snowflake uh showcase exclusive products um this is for november only while supplies last there's a stamp set some beautiful framelits um actually two stamp sets and some embellishments um they're snowflakes and yes i see karen kush just commented that it's snowing so hard outside it is a blizzard outside at my house right now too so, showing the snow case, the snowflake showcase is perfect right now for uh, where we're at, where I'm at in Michigan. So, um, you can see there's lots of products that you can get. Unfortunately, they had this, uh, this white velvet paper and it sold out. Like in 10 days, all the supply for the whole month is gone. So, these items are while supplies last for the month of November. So if you like what I'm going to show you, or if you see, I've posted some samples on my uh, Facebook group and page, um, don't hesitate because things are selling out very, very quickly. Um, as a matter of fact, Stampin' Up! just uh, let us know that there is a list of items from the holiday catalog that are probably going to sell out within the next week, and we won't be able to get them anymore. So um, if you like anything, try not to wait um, if you want to actually get them. So um, I do have a special right now for the month of uh, November. So if you use this host code and place an order in my online store, and it's at least $35 before shipping and tax, with that, that code whoo, right there, right there, I'm going to send you all the pieces and parts to make this shadow box. Um, you'll get all the, the ovals. They'll be embossed. Um, you'll get a couple yards of the linen thread and a sponge. All you'll need to do is go get your frame. This one was purchased at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a 9 by 9 frame, and it's just really, really cute. So this is like a little thank you. If you want to do online order of at least $35, um, you will get all of those pieces and sheet of dimensionals and stuff like that. Um, all right. I think I have some people on here. Um, again, if you would share this, I would be so appreciative so other people can join us. I know this is kind of a wonky time, but um, I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to do my swap card first, but we're going to make it this time in Lemon Lime Twist. And uh, let me get rid of this host code and let's get started. And I'm wearing some very bright colors today. <laughs> I was woke up and I was so tired and so I thought maybe if I wear some really bright colors it'll wake me up. Um, okay. Alright. So, uh, last week again at On Stage, this was, this was a swap card that I designed um, to give away. It's using one of our new in colors, the Lovely Lipstick, and it's using that Broadway Bound Specialty Designer Series paper. It's one of my favorite suites. I've made a lot of projects. Here's the, another strip of it. And then it's using the coordinating uh, stamp set Broadway birthday. So we're going to make this card in lemon lime twist and do a look. Things are here, here different, but not too different. So we're just going to start with our standard card base and fold this. And then I went ahead and did a second layer that is five and a quarter by four and I embossed it in the uh, polka dot, the basic. Um, I will show you a few of my favorite swap cards I received as soon as I'm done making this as well. 
So I got some awesome swap cards. I participated in one organized swap and then I took 10 extra. So I had, I got 60 different cards. I'm just gonna show you about uh, maybe four. So we're just gonna put that down flat, just like that. And then this is um, one and a half inch strip of designer series paper by five and a quarter. And that's just gonna go along the side. And look at the back, like that's why I love this. It's like gold and black. That's really pretty too. Um, again, I'm wearing some bright colors like this, bright paper. My hat is almost the same color as this lemon lime twist, I think. Maybe it's more of a grainy apple green. So we're just gonna put that there. And next I have some whisper white that is two and three quarters squared and some basic black that is a three inch square. Now on my original, I cut this out with this layering uh, square framelits. But if you don't have the framelits or a big shot, you can totally use just a regular square and layer it, layer it on that way too. So, <coughs> hi everybody. This is still Hoffy Nun. Thank you for joining me. Um, okay, so the first thing we're gonna stamp is our hooray. And I'm gonna be doing that in Lemon Lime Twist ink. And I don't, here, I was gonna say, I don't have my foam mat, but I found it. So we're gonna stamp that first. And then I'm going to stamp, um, it's your birthday. Okay, so there's the hooray. And then I had no idea where my chamois is. Um, it's your birthday is gonna be done in uh, black. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Where's my black? Right here. Okay. Does it, uh, so I don't know. It's been so cold here since I got home from Orlando, like freezing, freezing cold. I left and it was like 60 and I came home and it's like 28. <laughs> it's been quite the polar opposite. Okay, so we're done with the black and then we're gonna make a little banner to go on here and it's gonna say, let's celebrate you. And I'm gonna do that in lovely lipstick. I'm just, And then we will put this together. So let's celebrate you. We'll go right on here. Okay, now I'm gonna close this up and we'll put this together. So this just gets layered onto here, my square. And then we're gonna put it on the card with some dimensionals. Of course we are. Did I bring some over? Hmm, I have here, I have a couple boxes. So we'll put these dimensionals on. Does anybody out there have this uh, Broadway birthday stamp set. It's so cute and fun and colorful. So just like that. And then this, we're gonna make a banner of, um, I'm going to trim the end a little bit. Trim it down. This is just a half inch strip. If you cut a lot of cardstock, um, you get lots of these little half inch strips. And so I save them and use them for all my little banners. I don't save a ton of scraps. I recycle. Um, but these little half inch strips I use all the time. So um, they can be very useful. So, okay, here's my banner. That's gonna get another dimensional or two behind that. And then this is gonna get popped up right here. And then I have some ribbon to finish it off. That's gonna go right there like, like that. And then I have this ribbon. It is uh, the Lemon Lime Twist Ruffled Ribbon. And instead of making an actual like bobo like I did in my original, what I'm gonna do is just tie a light knot, uh, maybe two. So I did a knot, just tied a knot, I'm gonna do another one. And then I'm going to trim the ends on an angle and stick this down with a mini glue dot at the top. Kind of like up there like that. Oh, 
Okay, I have mini glue dots right here. So you'd stick your, put that there. And then I'm just gonna add a little rhinestone on each end of our banner. And I'll bring in my original, and then you can let me know which one you like better, what color, if you have a favorite. So here is a variation of my swap card using the lemon lime twist. And then my original is right here. So lovely lipstick or lemon lime twist. It's hard to see those polka dots. I don't know, my lady must be bad. So which one do you like better? I would love to hear. Um, I love that the paper, um, miss the, um, I'm not sure why they got rid of the ribbon scissors, Karen. Somebody asked me if you're watching on the YouTube and you don't see the comments, why they got rid of the ribbon scissors. And I, I really have no idea. They were very, very nice. So um, here are my, this is my swap card from on stage and here's the variation. Um, now I'm going to show you a few of my other favorite swap cards I got it on stage. So let me pull those out. So here is one that I got. It's using that, uh, the background stamp there and those flowers. And I love the embossing folder here. And this was made by Hattie, Hattie, uh, Walker Nelson from Honeybee Stampers, one of my, um, best friends, stamping friends. So um, this was her swap card. I um, I just love the clean and simplicity of it, but there was one. And then these two cards, like I do not have the stamp set. And now I think between these two cards, I'm going to end up buying it. So this card was made by Selena Morali. I don't know if I said that right, but look at this with the... Um, with a typewriter, it's so cute and pretty. Um, I love it. I love the little PS here and how it's uh, the stitch framelits. Anyway, PS, you are the best. So this was one of my favorite. And then my other Stampin' Bestie, Jennifer Hill, created this card with that same stamp set. It says a birthday note. So between these two cards I got, I kind of want this stamp set now. This is in the annual catalog. So, um... So don't over get don't overlook this stamp set. It's really really nice. So there's a few of um, my on stage um, swap cards. Now I'm going to show you a card made with some of these products right here. And let me just uh, grab those uh, real quick. So um, I have this stamp set right here. The snow is glistening. It's twenty one dollars, and you get fourteen stamps. And um, we are, are going to be using the framelits. The framelits are a little pricey, I'm not going to lie. They're $39, but you get 20 dies, like 20. There's a ton, a ton of dies. And again, if you want these, don't hesitate because we don't know how quickly they are going to sell out. The other thing we're going to use are the snowflake trinkets. And these are so pretty. They have a little um, rhinestone in the center. Um, just really pretty. So we're going to use that too. So this is uh, the November only special. So I haven't actually made this card yet. We're going to make it together right now. And see, I already went ahead and I cut out the largest snowflake in there in this silver foil paper. So uh, it is, look at how pretty that is. So pretty. And then I went ahead and I cut balmy blue cardstock, uh, four and a quarter by 11, Night of Navy and Whisper White. These are just little layers. And then I grabbed this uh, white and silver metallic edge ribbon. So I grabbed these, these little items and we're gonna do some stamping and hopefully it turns out pretty because I did not do this ahead of time. I ran out of time. I'm getting ready tomorrow. I have, not tomorrow, Saturday, I have my one day 12 hour craft retreat, and so I'm in craft treat remote, crap, whatever. I'm getting ready for it for um, about 20 ladies. Okay, so we're just going to mat the Knight of Navy onto there and this, but before we put this down, we're going to stamp it with um, this that says, each snowflake is beautiful, sparkling, and special just like you. So I have that on here, 
This also has Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world and sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season in the for you. It has a really pretty tree. I'll show you a card I made with this tree. And oh my gosh, it's just, you have to have this. You have to. It is a must have in my opinion. Okay, I'm going to use Night of Navy ink to make it pop a little bit. And I'm just going to stamp this sentiment towards the bottom. Oh, And... Okay, make sure I do it straight. Okay, just like that. Isn't that a pretty font? Oh, it's so pretty. It makes me happy. Okay, we're done stamping. This is a pretty simple card because uh, I'm not really sure exactly what all we're doing with it. So we're going to layer this to the Knight of Navy. Um, and then... We will wrap some of this pretty ribbon around. So we're gonna wrap this around and tie it. Oh, I got blue ink on me. I don't want that to get on my white. So I'm just gonna tie it and then trim. Okay. On Monday, if you're local to me, I do have an all occasions card class. And so it will be, we'll be doing uh, four different designs of eight cards. And I have that class on Monday at 11 or 6.30. So you can go to my uh, blog, allstarstampers.com and click on my classes if you would like to come. I do have a few spots available at both classes. So we're going to do this and then we're going to attach here and then I, I was thinking in my head this big snowflake would go right here and then maybe put one of these on the top. So that's the plan now. Let's see how it goes. We'll stick this down. Okay, just like this. Now I could have embossed this white with that softly falling after I stamped it, but I didn't want to run across the room and, and, and do that. So then we're going to put this down with a dim some dimensionals on the back. But like, seriously, this is so beautiful. <laughs> um, and limited time, if you didn't catch that already. I think I've said it a few times, but... It is limited. Okay. And then this is going to go right here, just like that. And then we're going to take one of these really pretty trinkets. I want you to see how pretty. It has a rhinestone in the center. It's probably about a good inch in size. And I'm going to put that down with a mini glue dot. And I know just the person I'm going to send this card to because I think the sentiment is perfect. Um, so I'm going to put this for my person in mind. And there we have it. Here is our uh, glistening, snow is glistening card with the framelits. So what do you think? Um, I use the blues. I've been using blue a lot. So if you missed it on Monday, I did a... Hop on Facebook Live and I made this canvas, again, with the blues and the silvers using our Dashing Deer, or not Dashing Deer, well, that's the stamp set, the Detailed Deer Framelits, which again, um, might sell out pretty quick, and the In the Woods Framelits, and we did this 6x8 canvas that I showed you on Monday. So if you missed that video, you can um, go through and, and look, or they are all on my YouTube channel as well. So here is this card. Oh. I was going to show you the card I made on Monday. Monday I had a Christmas card class at my community ed. And so we did four different Christmas cards that I haven't um, showed you yet. So this is um, a card using that tree, the tree right here, and the word joy. And it again is in Night of Navy and Whisper White. In the background here we use the sparkle embossing paste. And then this little snowflake is cut out with a rhinestone. So this was a card that they made um, Monday. And then we made this Christmas card, which used the 
sweet, oh, it's in the holiday catalog, sweet stitches. Um, and we um, just put the little red rhinestones and gold pearls on the tree. So that was a cute little card they made. And then we made this card with, um, can you see the wreath is embossed in the background? This is in the annual catalog, this wreath. Um, and then we stamped the sentiment with, a, I believe it was a two inch punch, maybe two and a quarter, and then um, popped it up. Um, so this was a card with an embossing folder. And then uh, this one, I don't know, I might need to take out so you can see it, the glare. Uh, again, these framelits are on that list in the embossing folder, the swirls and curls um, for the low inventory, like they might run out next week. So these were the cards um, that we made earlier this week. I do have one more Christmas card class at the end of the month, November 26th, if you want to join. And uh, we will be using the stamp set and the framelits hopefully there. So... Um, Again, if you're local and you want to join me, um, that's great. Uh, that would be awesome to have you there. And again, if you want to order any of your Stampin' Up! supplies and you go online and use this code right here, I'm going to send you the supplies to make this. Um, what that means is all of the pieces for all of these pumpkins, a couple yards of the linen thread, a wedge of a sponge, because you can see I sponged all of these with crumb cake ink. If you don't have crumb cake ink, you can order that. Um, or you can use a light brown ink. And then I just, you'll also get some dimensionals. And then you'll just have to get your frame. This is a nine by nine, nine by nine frame I got at Michael's. So any $35 before tax and shipping order that uses that code down there, um, you're going to get this mailed to you as my little thank you gift this month. And the first round is going out in the mail um, tomorrow. So I hope that you guys, ladies, enjoyed um, this afternoon stamping session with me and the cards that we made. Um, and so I hope to see you back next week. Um, I think it's the, the day before Thanksgiving. So I will plan to be here at the regularly scheduled time. Um, and thank you again for sharing this and for watching me. And I will see you again. If you have any questions about um, ordering or stamping up or any of our products or joining my team, just let me know. Send me a message and I will be happy to answer you. Have a good day and stay warm if you're in Michigan right now. Bye.